Okay, hi guys. This is Noelle Rose Anderson hyphen Kale sending you the love. Dance Warrior, hashtag that, raw, real, and uncensored. So I'm getting back to what I do best. We haven't had a chance to really do too much of that because you've seen the horror we've been through. But here we are. So um, we are almost in our pre-COVID shape and weight and all of that. And look, pretty good definition definition we work out even <laughs> even on the road I'm sure you guys seen some of our videos or we could pull up to like a rest stop and we we do our plies we do our leg lifts all that stuff um, so I want to show you guys a little bit about our 500 500 challenge which we started last year what that is is 500 sit-ups and 500 push-ups and you do it daily and that will get you into Im immense shape very 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 quickly so I just want to show you a couple little secrets and tips and things that we do. Okay, hold on. So, in dance we do these little scoots, right? Like that. And um, that's actually a lot of fun to do. And do it with your kids and stuff and teach them how to do it. And scoot across the floor. It's, guys, it's fun. Clear out the furniture and just do a whole bunch of scooting. You know, I think we need to get back in touch with our inner child in a sense and play a little bit. We don't realize how much time we have on this earth and it may be shorter than we think the way things are going, but let's hope not. So I just want to show you a couple little things that will help you with your form when you're doing push-ups. Now, um, a lot of times I will do them on my knees like this. I don't have a mirror to check my, my plank here. How's the back? Is this pretty straight? I think so. Hold on, I want to make sure. Um, Not so much now. What's wrong? Which part that needs to be perfect? I'm looking at my arms. I want them directly. Oh, your up. arms. Yeah, your arms are fine. Okay. How about my back? Um, it has to be even with your calves, yes. Oh. No? Okay, then it's fine. Okay. So, I don't have a mirror to check myself. So, when you do uh, any kind of plank, push up, or anything like that, what you really want to focus on, let me go like this so I can demonstrate, you want to make sure that this is in perfect alignment. You don't want to be back here like this or over because you're going to put stress on the wrong parts of your body. Also, there are different ways to place your hands with push-ups and I like to go back to what I learned in yoga which means to point my fingertips straight ahead in the direction I am facing. So here, this is really good to do and you keep your elbows pointing backwards and lift yourself. And uh, I cannot go all the way down to the floor right now, and I'm not going to try to show off and hurt myself. But that's what happens when you don't have access to a floor and you have a car, <laughs> only as your place of working out. So, you know, go slow like I am. And then, you know, you can also do the other ones too, and be very careful. You know, where you turn your hands like this, and you work out a different part of your body, be very, very careful. Um, you know, and then for those of you who are at this level, go for it. Push up. Keep your legs straight. Um, so we were doing 500, 500 ourselves every day. And so we now started back into that. And uh, it's going pretty quickly. I'm pretty amazed. Uh, also, let's do sit-ups and stuff. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do. The one thing you don't want to do is stress your lower back or any place, you know, you can really hurt yourselves. And let's see, I don't know how clean this floor is. Okay, so what you want to do, uh, make sure your, your knees are either touching or just a little bit apart. And there are different ways you can do sit-ups. You can put your arms overhead and lower your shoulders. When I say lower them, um, this. Don't scrunch up like this when you're doing anything. I had a bad habit. Not that bad. It was, I'm exaggerating, right? But you want to roll your shoulders back and down, create this beautiful neckline so you can see your, your neck well. And then you put your arms overhead and you sit up. I jerked a little bit. Sorry, guys. and roll up smoothly. Uh, don't put strain on your neck. You can keep your back straight, or you can see how I rolled up like that. 
because that's where I'm at right now, people. And you tuck your chin down like this. You can also do it where you're, uh, when you're coming up. Be very careful. Keep it very straight. Um, since we're building back up our strength, we have to be very, very careful. Uh, what else do I want to say about that? But anyway, you know, that's a minor demonstration. But I also want to combine this demonstration with a little word of encouragement. We're fighting hard. We're fighting very hard on every level. Physically, obviously, we want to get in, in the bestest shape that we've ever been in. And we're almost there. If you already were in good shape prior to COVID, you're going to snap back real quickly like we are. And um, you know, watch your diet. Make sure you're eating well. Um, you know me, I, I love eating salads, water, just really good healthy things. So, you know, make sure that you're, you're doing what's good for your body. Get, get a lot of sun. Uh, oranges are really, really good for you. Um, you need that vitamin C. So, you know, you know what to do. You guys read enough, right? You see what we post. Uh, so anyway, we, we are fighting this battle. Um, it's pretty intense <laughs> on all levels. So please um, be be careful, be smart, be wise, be loving, be gracious. And I, I'm preaching to myself, to you guys, because I know sometimes I'm not any of those things because we're human. You know, you get poked and prodded enough times, you're going to snap back. Nobody's perfectly balanced. So that includes me. So <laughs> I'm preaching to all of us, I guess. Um, what else do I want to say? But anyway, uh, what we're fighting for, we went to DC to fight for our rights, our human rights, and we were fighting for real freedom, and we still are. Just because we came out west, back out west, does not mean we gave up. We didn't give up, not even slightly. We just can't live in Los Angeles right now because it's, the air is really bad, guys. We gotta do something about the climate. We have to do something about the environmental toxins. We have so much to work on, but Anyway, so we offer you real freedom. Bottom line, we want you to be free from any bondage and every bondage. And in FDR's words, right, we went to the FDR monument, and you know that because you guys saw our pictures. Uh, really, there's nothing to fear, I mean, except fear itself. So you guys don't be afraid of fear because you make yourselves to be cowards. So rise up and be strong. We already did the hard part for a lot of this stuff for you guys. And I know there's a lot of good people fighting for us too. It got a little weird and a lot of misinformation and a lot of confusion. But I think we can um, fix that pretty easily. We would rather do that. Wouldn't you guys rather do that? I would rather just fix everything. So that's what we're, we're aiming for. We want to fix things. And we, you know, we're no better than you, you're no better than us. We're all human beings, we're created equal. Really, we are created equal. So let's, you know, start doing that. And um, guys, just, just hang in there as much as you can. We need a lot of love and we're trying to give it. So let's have a good exchange. Um, go watch our rainbow video, because you know it's Pride Month, yay! And we support LGBTQ community, so guys, we love you, and they know, I mean, we hire you guys all the time, and uh, we've, we've shown so much support, and uh, we'll continue doing so, and, um, you know, Fight for Love, uh, that was our dance concert, and it was basically about a utopian, dystopian society, and being able to be free to choose who we want to love. It also illuminated the current issue with these crazy people in this group. And <laughs> we didn't even realize it. We just have a knack of being able to reveal things without even intentionally doing it, as if we knew what was going on. I swear to God, we had no clue. But, you know, whatever you want to call that, it's pretty interesting. So hang in there and. Um, yeah, go get vaccinated, people. Everybody's stepping up, okay? It slacked off for a little while there, and we were a little concerned, but people are starting to get the idea that we need to wrap this up and quickly. So come on, guys, let's get this done. I, look, I know we can. I know we can do this. So just do it. <laughs> okay, peace, guys.